Hi, I'm Christopher Kennedy, and you're at the Christopher Kennedy Compound, Modernism Week Showhouse, presented by Traditional Home Magazine. The inspiration for bringing a show home to Palm Springs is simply that we hadn't had one in over 10 years and every big city now has a showcase house where different designers are on display showing off their talents and Palm Springs hadn't had that and I thought that was crazy because it's such fertile ground for one. We have this great architecture, the people come from all over the world to celebrate, we have great charities and great enthusiasts um, for design and so it's just a natural place to create a show house. We found a great property, it was built in 1964, it's right on the golf course in the historic Indian Canyons neighborhood where Walt Disney played, uh, you know, Frank Sinatra, uh, Bob Hope, all the great stars played this golf course. The point of the show house is really to take a mid-century property and update it using the best of modern technology and bring it together the nation's top interior designers. <music> Our inspiration definitely was started with, with the table. Um, I love the, the, the Maison Jansen, I love the era of the pieces that he did. So the, the mixture of materials with that, we have got a wood inlay that runs down the, like the center trestle of the table. Um, it's a metal table with a, a little bit of a Greek key motif, which I thought was you know, beautiful back, back to this room. I knew that we were going to have white floors. It was just taking that first initial light, dark, just in position and just taking it to the art and the fabrics and all, and like repeating it over and over so that when it's all come together in the end, it's such a strong composition. And it's a great, a great balance for, for me in mid-century where you're getting pops of color, where you've got this beautiful, light, dark, neutral ground. So then you can change anything that, that's just simply about changing your tabletop or, you know, a pillow, but the ground is wonderful and it's not, it's not something that you're going to tire up because it's just a neutral. I love the curves of the mid-century pieces, you know, when you've got those wonderful, you know, Barcelona chairs and, um, you know, or, or the curve of, of a regular leg. I love those things. That's what I was always interested in for mid-century was the way that they designed the furniture, low slung, kind of sexy, you know, and I, that was always the thing that, I, that attracted me. Well, Modernism to us is, is basically about entertaining and about shape and form and furniture. So the furniture itself is all about the shape, but the functionality is about entertaining and bringing the indoors outdoors and, and celebrating togetherness. And so that is to us what modernism means. As we look around my room, we'll see that all the furniture has been truly restored. This amazing sofa that I'm sitting on today was really the, the inspiration because we did have the den, we needed something relaxing. We also had to meet the scale and sizeability of the room as well. Christopher gave us the challenge of my two favorite colors is chartreuse and blue. And so when Robert Allen showed us the color selections for the upcoming fabrics that were coming out, Lance says, this is it. This beautiful velvet eye cat is what we need for the sofa. And so that was the inspiration of the room, and that's where it was the sounding board, and everything else came into play afterwards. I wanted to do Palm Spring chic. I wanted to incorporate the colors that are going to be used in the rest of the house so that it would coordinate well. So when I saw this wallpaper by Tybo, I was very impressed because it had the blues and the greens and it was just really fun. It feels vintage to me. It, it's a, a historic print and it, um, I felt like it brought a lot of life and height to the room because the room is rather small. I wanted something that was vertical and interesting to look at. The artwork, I just wanted to bring something that had some drama and color to add some interest to the room. So we found this really great tile for Bedrosian. Using it vertically takes your eye up to the ceiling where we painted it blue. 
The experience has been wonderful. We're based out of Phoenix, Arizona, and we have loved every minute of it. It's been really great to be surrounded by such amazing talent and um, such interesting people. This is my this is my junior designer. One of them. For myself, I kept the kitchen and the master closet because I like to shop and I like to eat. So those are the two spaces that were really important to me. We're standing in this great kitchen. Originally it was a small kind of 1960s poster stamp kitchen. We blew it out. I incorporated the uh, breakfast area as part of the functional kitchen, moving all the refrigeration from Sub-Zero into that zone. And a surprise is we also made a catering or back kitchen just behind the main kitchen on display. As a designer, Incorporating mid-century modern into our look to me is about not having a lot of unnecessary adornment. It's about having a connection to the environment. Uh, it's about doing more with less, about having honesty in building materials, and about surrounding yourself with things that you love and have meaning. So my inspiration for the space was really all about the mountains. Um, it's all about nature for me. I love Palm Springs mid-century modern, but to me I wanted to bring in a little more organic nature into it. So we used a lot of organic materials like concrete and rock and a lot of plants. And obviously this living wall back here to really kind of bring in what I'm seeing in front of me right now, which is the beautiful mountains of Palm Springs and the natural colors and the rusts and the reds and the browns and the greens and then the blue of the sky. So nature was really my inspiration for this space. Mid-century to me it has a special place because it kind of takes me back to my grandmother's home growing up. Um, there was a beautiful sofa that my grandmother always had that we always fought over that he was going to get it. And then of course, when she passed, sadly, we all went to get that sofa and we realized it was the most uncomfortable thing ever. So to me, mid-century, what I like to do is bring in the feel of that era, but modernize it with some, some comfort and usability. And that's what we do in my retail stores, is we have a very much a mid-century flair, but for the modern age. All of my projects are inspired by um, color and texture and pattern and so in this space here for Modernism Week I wanted to bring that to the master bath. When we first started designing this space I was really inspired um, by the artwork of Kelly O'Neill and I actually commissioned him to make a custom piece for the master bath which you can see behind me. It's beautiful and the colors to me say Palm Springs. And as the plan developed, I wanted to bring in texture. I like to do that with uh, wall coverings and marble. And I think I've accomplished that here. The Philip Jeffries paper is really special. It's new, it's a lacquered strie, and it's been getting a lot of attention here. The deep blue color and the shine is what really drew me to it. And then to contrast that, we have another Philip Jeffries paper, which is grass cloth, and it has kind of a modern spin on a plaid. And it's in our colors, it's in my color scheme of the blues and the greens. And that, coupled with the beautiful Georgian tile of the bathroom, is really combining the textures to something that I feel is exciting. Mid-century modern design, to me, means glamour and a slightly simpler time. The lines are clean but a little bit funky and I love that we were able to bring that into our time here by modernizing it with the colors and some new textures. But the forms of the furniture to me are sexy and glamorous. It's been an amazing journey creating this show house. I want to thank the 11 designers who brought their talents to bear. I want to thank our two magazine sponsors, Traditional Home and California Homes. Of course, our amazing builder, Art House Construction. And I want to thank the 3,000 people who toured this home over 10 days to be inspired. That's really what it's all about for me, is inspiring people. We also raise money for some amazing charities. The proceeds of this house will go towards architectural preservation in Palm Springs and towards scholarships for design and architecture students locally. So it's a great cause, and thanks to everyone who made this happen. It definitely took a village.